Growing anger over so-called COVID passports, Labour joined rebel Tories to call for a rethink. TV Lunchtime News with Lucrezia Millerini. Good afternoon. There's growing concern among MPs over government plans for so-called COVID passports. Dozens of Tory rebels are already calling for a rethink and now Labour is too. The certificates would record whether someone has had a vaccine, recently recovered from COVID or had a negative test result. But that plan has been criticised by some as dangerous, discriminatory and counterproductive. With the details, here's our political reporter, Shihab Khan. A senior official at the EU's medicine regulator says that there is a link between the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine and rare blood clots. So he made the comments in an Italian newspaper. Here, the medicines regulator, the MHRA, is currently looking again at the issue. Several countries, including France, have limited its use in younger people. Join me now as our science editor, uh, Tom Clark. So, Tom, um, just what are the facts on all this? Well, the most important thing, I think, at this time to gather the evidence, and that's what's been going on. One vaccine, thousands of people could actually die. Waiting for that, but there is some other news on two other vaccines. That's right. So we've had some really good news today. On Thank you. Okay, well, joining us now is one of our. Well, Scotland schools will return full time after the Easter holidays. Nicola Sturgeon has confirmed. The bosses of some of Britain's biggest holiday companies say they fear the government's slow action on restarting foreign travel could mean they miss out on another summer season. The Prime Minister yesterday told people it was too early to book holidays for this year. Well, non-essential foreign travel is still banned in England until at least the middle of next month. Well, Chloe Keaty is uh, here to talk more about this. Um, Chloe, it's not often, is it, that we hear from three rival bosses uh, speaking with one voice like this, is it? No, that's right. OK, close. So even when we do get that news that we can maybe go on holiday, mm -hmm. um, for a lot of people, it's not going to be... And I think for the industry, certainly, those... Right, Chloe, thank you. Still to come, more... First, police searching for missing student Richard Okurage in Essex say they have found a body. It was discovered in a pond in Woodland in Epping Forest two weeks after the 19-year-old left his family home in West London. Our reporters... Thousands of new, expectant and bereaved mothers will receive mental health support from a number of new hubs in England. The 26 centres will open over the next 12 months dedicated to providing maternal mental health care. It's hoped they will better integrate maternity services, reproductive health and psychological therapy to the many women who need it. Well, charities have welcomed the news, as Sally Bidolf has been hearing. Fashion chain Peacocks has been rescued from administration following its collapse last year. It's and finally, while we might not all have the same drive as Captain Sir Tom Moore, his family say together we can achieve what he did to mark what would have been his 101st birthday. They're encouraging people to celebrate his spirit of generosity by taking on their own charity challenge. Oh, Captain Sir Tom Moore's daughter Hannah speaking to me earlier. And what a way to end. Mary is here with the ITV Evening News at 6.30. The news where you are follows the national weather. But from everyone here on the Lunchtime team, bye-bye. Hello again. Now the main stories in London. A second man has been charged with the murder of a 21-year-old in Hounslow, Renato. The 22-year-old who drove a stolen car at 70 miles per hour on the wrong side of the road as he tried to flee from police has been jailed. Sadiq Khan said he will establish a new independent commission to examine the use of drugs in the capital if he is re-elected as London's mayor next month. The picture of a World War II veteran is being beamed onto a billboard in Leicester Square today to mark his 100th birthday. And budding stargazers across the capital have been making the most of a quieter city. All right, sunshine this morning, but it's still really cold out there. Are things ever warming up? Let's take a look at the weather for Sally. And Diversity's Jordan Banjo will be joining us later at six to talk about his first children's book. And that's it. Duncan will be here for all of that at six. Until then, enjoy your afternoon. Bye-bye.